penultimate vlog of the SG Petch 2018 Sprint Championship season. It's been a long season and round seven will be held on Sunday on the international circuit. We'll talk about the circuit more in a moment. There's still a lot to be decided in the championship though, with both the heavyweights and lightweights classes still potentially up for consideration between top three in each class. There's a couple of close battles as well and we'll take a look at the tables in a bit more detail in a moment. A few things to cover off though, a lot's happened since the last round. I've had a stomach bug in the last week, I'm still not feeling 100%, hopefully I'll feel like I'm on top form on Sunday, uh, so we'll wait and see, hopefully it won't affect my driving. A couple of weekends ago as well, we also christened the latest member of the DO Racing family, my youngest daughter Paisley was christened, and hopefully that'll give me a real positive image to go into the weekend with as well, and hopefully something to, uh, to be positive about. So hopefully that'll be good. And then in other news as well, Jody Lovett got in touch through Facebook, he was inquiring following a recent race at Teesside, uh, auto drone and he wanted to know a little bit more about the championship so I've been chatting to him and hopefully he's coming down this weekend in the heavyweights class uh, you never know there might be a new driver on the grid for next season as well so good luck this weekend Jody uh, give it your best shot and hopefully you'll you'll get a decent result and we'll go from there so looking forward to this weekend then like I've said it's on the international track so let's take a look at the circuit in a bit more detail the last round will be held on the international circuit at 2.1 kilometers, it's about one minute, 20 seconds per lap. So let's take a look at the layout. Off the grid, it's into the chicane before a sweeping left and downhill into the first big braking zone. It's a sharp, fast right-hand turn. Heading out of the corner, we go up the hill and arrive at the bus stop, a right, left, right combination which climbs sharply and it's easy to run wide here. Over the crest, there's a long run into the S's before heavy braking into the first of two back-to-back -back hairpins onto the long back straight and the long right-hander of South Bank and two more hairpins coming back round to the start. So that's the circuit layout. Now let's take a look at the tables as we go into the weekend. In the heavies, it's still very close at the top spot with Cameron McLean and Liam Silkston just three points apart at the top of the table. Jamie Henderson and Andy Dawson are tied on points for third. Looking at the lightweights, while it's still mathematically possible for Adam Delmont to be caught, with an 81-point lead, Carl Parkin really needs a DNF from Adam to take the title. The closer battle is for second though, with Owen Burton needing to outscore Carl by just 31 points to take second place. Third is by no means secure though. Ben Thornton and Ashley Savage are both close behind and are within striking distance of Owen as well. So there's a lot to watch out for on track. Hopefully everyone will be racing cleaner than they were in round six when there was a lot of bumping and bashing and spinning around of various people. It's the end of the season and yes, people have got close championship battles but everyone will be wanting to race for a good position in the race as well. It would be disappointing for one of the top three or top five to end their season challenge at the hands of someone else. So hopefully the racing will be clean and fair. But we'll find out at the weekend and no doubt you'll get an update on everything from me uh, next week in the post-race vlog. Keep your eyes peeled on Facebook and on Alpha Timing for, for more updates and information through the weekend. I'll update as frequently as I can. And as I say, I'll update you on how the race weekend goes in my vlog next week. Cheers, guys.